Give your handmade cards and paper craft projects a stylish touch with the Hello Thinlets from Stampin' Up. Stay tuned for some tips on cutting and adhering these fun die cuts. Hi, this is Sage Kimball and I'm the Mad Stamper with another technique video for card makers and paper crafters. Hello Thinlets consist of four words spelled out in a cute and sassy font. Hello, happy, you, and thanks. They're perfect to combine with the crazy about you stamp set because the cutouts will combine with the stamped words in such cute ways. Thinlets can be challenging because the die cuts are so thin, like these, or intricate, as in the butterflies thinlets. But once you know the best tricks for using them, they're a breeze. It's often helpful to use a piece of wax paper between the thinlets and your cardstock, especially if you're cutting something intricate like the butterflies. However, I found that with these words, the wax paper didn't make much difference when it came to removing the cardstock after it's been cut. So, since I still have to poke out the cardstock from the die, I decided to skip the wax paper. Here's a tip that will make adhering the cutout to your project so much easier. I'm going to add adhesive sheet to the back of the cardstock before I cut it out. I still have a lot of this Sizzix adhesive sheets that Stampin' Up! used to carry in 12 by 12 sheets. Now they sell uh, transfer adhesive sheets that are just under 6 by 8 and it looks like they're even easier to use because you, the backing is in strips and it looks like they're easier to remove. I've cut a piece of adhesive sheet about the same size as the cardstock I'm going to be using and I'll just peel the backing away from the adhesive. Then I will carefully put that on top of the cardstock. And just cut off a little of this overhang here. Now I can make my sandwich. I'm using the magnetic platform. So I put a cutting pad down, then I take the cardstock and place that on top of the cutting pad with the adhesive side down. Add the thinlet on top of that. Then comes the top cutting pad. Now if you're using the regular platform, you'll need to use both tabs 1 and 2 with it. Now I can put this through the big shot. So I can remove the die from the cardstock. Then I'm going to start removing the parts of the die cut that are spaces in the letters so that they're out of the way. Then I'll hold the thinlet and just start poking through the holes in the line of the script and you can see how that's starting to loosen the word. Now I'm using a toothpick because it's small enough to poke in these little holes and it also isn't sharp so it won't make marks in the cardstock. And there it is. So let me show you how easy it is to put on my project. I separate the liner from the adhesive, just get a start wherever I can, and then I can pull it off all the way along the cutout. And it doesn't feel like real strong adhesive, but I found that once I place it on a flat piece of cardstock like this and put plenty of pressure on it, it'll adhere quite nicely to that. This is so much easier, no mess, no fuss, like with liquid glues, that I think you'll like this technique. The instructions for this Mother's Day card will be sent to all my newsletter subscribers next week, so be sure you're on the list. 
If you're not, just go to my website at www.stampingmadly.com and enter your information in the mailing list sign-up box. If you've already signed up and have been receiving the Stamping Madly newsletters, you know what a valuable resource it is. For more inspiration and instruction, be sure to visit me on my website at www.stampingmadly.com, the Stamping Madly Facebook page, and the Mad Stamper YouTube channel. Happy stamping!